and they're off. Three-year-old fillies are over seven furlongs. It's racing staff week. Fillies novice stakes and spring dawn the favourite made an alert beginning with Queen's Award over on the far side. Next is Crowning, who's just a little lit up. Then towards the near side is Midsummer Music, who's racing in a share of fourth alongside Morning Colours. Satirical is racing with a couple behind. Resonance is last but one. The first time starts her glistened is the back marker as the favourite spring dawn takes them on towards the final four and a half furlongs. Spring Dawn leads the way by three parts of length. Queen's Award over on the far side races in second. Crowning is just third with Midsummer Music in fourth and then Morning Colours in fifth on the far side. Satirical, Resonance and Glisten still at the back of the pack and they're racing now on inside the final three. Spring Dawn now shaken up. Leads still by three parts of a length over Queen's Award in second. Towards the near side Midsummer Music now makes a claim over on the far side. Morning Colours is being to pick up. Crowning is being driven. Residence on the far left as we look down. The track is also trying to get involved. Then Satirical nothing from Glisten. Racing now inside the final furlong and Spring Dawn still has the lead but she's drifting now over towards the far side rail. Now it's staying on. Residence towards the near side and then Midsummer Music but Spring Dawn is simply too good and Spring Dawn wins. It was tight second between Residence and Midsummer Music. Well, two winners on the card for Woolbuke so far. Still potential for more to come. Let's deal with the winner in these colours first of all, Will. Uh, Spring Dawn, two really nice runs first of all. Now, I know that you guys don't really take credit too well. You tend to deflect it. But Rachel Candelora before the race, she said, I think William Buick should pop this horse out in front because she doesn't do anything quickly. And that seemed to be how it panned out. You weren't listening to Racing TV, were you? Yeah, she, she told me, so I knew exactly what I had to do. <laughs> no, she had, she'd had the two runs, and, and um, you know, it was very obvious, really, to, to, to use that experience. And, and um, you know, Charlie said to me beforehand that he, he thinks she'll stay a mile, so, um, you know, she did what she had to do, and um, she showed a good attitude. Why don't you stay even further than a mile? She's related to a mile and a half horse, so down one over 11. Yeah, she'll she'll definitely stay a mile and any further. I wouldn't be so sure, but um, she's got off the mark today, and then see see where she goes next. Uh, you rode Empire of Light to win the first race of the day. Got into a bit of a battle with the runner-up. Loved your horse's attitude. Really put his head down. Yeah, he really did. Um, and you know, he he ran a bit disappointing first time out, and then he really put it together to, to, together today. And probably just that kind of ground helped him a little bit. And um, you know, we had a ding-dong for some way out, and uh, he really stuck his head out. We are loving the Jockeys' Championship already. I mean, I know that, obviously, there's a long way to go, etc. but the fact, uh, the fact that Joe Fanning's involved in it as well, it's quite exciting, isn't it? Yeah, we should check his passport, really. <laughs> He's definitely not as old as what he says. He's flying along. I mean... Just the, the fact that he's involved in the in the championship, obviously yourself, Asheen, regular names in there, but it's quite nice to have a, a different name in it. How do you guys view it? It's brilliant. Um, you know, Joe is a great jockey, always has been. So, um, and it's it's early days, but it's great fun. It is great fun. We're enjoying watching it. Thank Good you. Luck.